next day. Okay, guys. I so, uh, little wrench. <sighs> guys, I'm that roach that came out in the Met Gala. Alize <laughs> <laughs> um, is taking me a little bit earlier to school today. My mom's at an appointment. They're at a business meeting. Well, yeah. Um, yeah. It's an appointment, and then my dad went with her. Um, so Alize is going a little earlier, so we could get Starbucks before she drops me off to school. And even if I do get a little later, I have pee for period, so it wouldn't really matter. Uh, but we're not gonna get you late, Aaliyah. Yeah, well, no. so that's why we're leaving like yeah. earlier. Because we're responsible. Well, I'm a responsible adult, and I make sure my sisters go to school on time. Girl, mom drops me off like when the bell rings. Like, are you like literally like so a late after or two? Yeah. But yeah, so we're gonna go to Starbucks. What are you gonna get? I'll get a matcha. Okay, so my mom. Just got home. I didn't record her, but I gave her her Starbucks. I got her Starbucks. I don't. Ali just recorded us going to Starbucks, but she didn't record me like ordering it. Oh, um, but I'm gonna do laundry. This is like a pile up of the week. I, you know, lights and darks. So I'm gonna probably just do like a quick little time lapse of it. Um, it says like my lashes. Um, my mom did them yesterday. I went a little longer this time, so yeah. I did like a open eye um set. Yeah. So let's get to laundry. I'll probably put it in a time lapse. <laughs> What are you? Let me see. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Ashley, look. Who did your makeup? Okay, so this. I know I'm a little lower than what I usually. I might take off my makeup. Well, so. Okay. Um. Well, it's very simple, actually. So, first off, it looks super cakey to begin with. I'm cleaning around it like that because I have gel on my brows, so I don't want to, like, take that off, you know? So, um, we're, going, we're getting ready to go into an IP meeting. It's literally 10.30-something, 10.37. Uh, IP meeting is at 11.30. It's really close. It's like a like three-minute drive from our house, so it's like, whatever. But I was doing my makeup, and I got this concealer. It's in the shade beige. This is my winter shade, and um, I'm normally light beige. This is my color, you know? It still looks dark, but I swear when I put it on, it's like my color. Look at the... Well, it doesn't look too bad, but like, this is orangey, like... And I put it all over my face, you know, I didn't even look because I just opened it. And I thought it was my my normal shade and it wasn't. So, basically, we're not going to wear sunscreen today because I already put my, suns I put my sunscreen on, but I wiped it off. But it just soaked in my head, in, in my head, in my face. But, yeah, so I'm literally, I took off my makeup and I'm redoing it as we're speaking right now. If I could redo my makeup in like um, 15 minutes, I kind of have an outfit planned out, like something um, professional because it's an IP. Because we went to another IP meeting yesterday and I just wore like, I wore this shirt actually. I slept in it. But yeah, so. Um, let me bronze up my face. So I, I just put, um, what is it called? Hold on. Um, I put primer. I use the e.l.f. Um, Hydro something. I really, really like the primer. I'm gonna do my nose. I like to like, I'm literally running out because... 
Ashlyn kept getting a hold of it and literally putting it all over her face. If you guys want to see that, you guys could go to the channel. I was going to put some light moisturizer, but we don't even have time for that. Um, I'm in the shade 14W. Rare Beauty. So pretty. Um, This one. I kind of sound sick, so I don't know if I'm getting sick or not. That's the thing. Oh, excuse my hair. It's literally like a mess. I'm probably going to like comb out my hair. It's going to be frizzy, frizzy but i'll probably put it in like a high bun or a low bun because lately i've been i always put my hair in a low bun literally and the only time i have it in a high bun is like for practice because if i put it in a low bun for practice since i have like little short-ish bangs they come out and i don't like it in my face so yeah but um i know i'm not even like doing the stroking technique i'm just literally rubbing this thing in but yeah so um i kind of I change my makeup like literally like almost every week like the steps it's like still the same products and everything just in a different order steps that I put it on so basically um I've been doing well I actually started because like I was just going for concealer and not even putting on BB cream or anything because I don't even wear foundation I just wear BB cream which is like tinted moisturizer but um I stopped and I was just like a concealer type of girl even though like like the concealer type of girl that rubs concealer over the face basically like um foundation but then i always i started minimizing it and i only put it in my t-zone and obviously my eyebrows like to conceal them and i don't i don't paint my eyebrows anymore like literally um i just put brow gel i uh but like way more for the naturalish look as you get older you wear less makeup so yeah because like through high school, everyone goes through, like, their different stages of, um, wearing makeup, actually. Like, my freshman year, I started high school, and I was the type of girl that I had, I was into brow gel, but I had, like, this brow gel that was, like, brown for my eyebrows, so, like, I wouldn't have to fill them in, but no, like, I would overly use that thing. Like, my brows, I had brick eyebrows back then, like, freshman year. Then I stopped that. Because my sophomore year, um, my eyebrows were looking nicer, obviously, more natural. Um, I would do eyeshadow every single day, which was the same orangey eyeshadow. Like, I would put orange, blend it in, and put a shimmer, and that was, like, back then. Then my junior year, I would just went basic, literally, and, like, I wouldn't even do my hair or anything. I would um, just put it literally up in a low bun. A li like literally a little bit because but uh, my junior year is when i actually cut my hair i used to always have long hair and then i started going for the short hair or whatever and so yeah um okay blush that okay concealer so i use the wet and wild one like i always say it, i like it's like a tart dupe thingy hopefully i get ready in time my mom barely started getting ready i could have i got i heard her um getting up i put it in the mustache area because like I haven't waxed it so like it's a little dark i like to put a little line under that's so uneven hold on well when i say little but then i end up messing up and then i have to put more but yeah then i put um a dot right there and a dot right here so i can use that to um conceal my brows Honestly, concealing your brows does a lot for your eyebrows. But yeah, I guess that. Dude, I literally, I can't not tell a story for the life of me without like going off topic for like, like 10 times or something. Like I could be saying a story and then I'm like, oh my God, that reminds me of this story. And then I'll say that story and then I forget about the other story. So yeah, I do my concealer like this because I, um, I turned really, really red if you guys could tell. Like I have really sensitive skin. So it turns red easily. So I just do this just in case, you know, I'm turning red throughout the day or whatever. And then it's a T-zone too, so I get oily, so I kind of cover it up too. Um, but yeah, so um, I don't know if I'm going to give the footage to my mom or if I'm going to put it in this video. If I do, I'll, I'll probably insert it right here. You guys will know by then. Um, right now, I really don't know if I'm going to keep the footage or not. But basically, um, we went to the KCWA. Yeah, um well kcwa is us kern county but to the association dolls meet or whatever where like 
our county goes against different counties and then obviously like you just basically see who's the best in the county oh in the counties plural because there's different other counties but yeah um so i was coaching and everything and like i was literally screaming my lungs out at the girls making sure like they're doing the moves and then you know like if you know like a wrestling coach like you have to yell during the match and everything and obviously like i could yell but like there's a, a different type of yell when you're coaching like you need to make sure that the girl because i teach the girls um you need to make sure that they could hear you and it's not just like oh like you're yelling at them and like they're hearing you know like it's not a tournament so like you have bells ringing the timers going off other coaches yelling and like it's multiple mats so like literally like you have to yell at the top of your lungs i like yell so bad to where like i like choke on air while i'm coaching so like i always have to make sure i have something to drink with me on the side like as i'm coaching like i could take a sip of water and then like keep yelling you know because my throat dries when i yell so um yeah but i've been doing better since um last year ish well this year but it's already gonna be like the end of this year they're like they're already gonna go in they're already like gonna do finals week next week and everything so it's already gonna be the end of school year but i'm doing a lot better than what i was like in the beginning um they could hear me more better now and yeah but um so i thought my throat was like a little sore hold on i thought my throat was a little sore because of it and but then it barely started becoming sore like literally like yesterday like I, my throat started getting like a little like sensitive you know so then um i'm sorry but i was so like literally off topic um so my throat started hurting yesterday but i thought it was because of that you know but then like that was since we got there saturday they weighed in and then they wrestled and then they wrestled on sunday too and then we got home and then i got home and i literally started uh my, my final my essay was due literally um at midnight and i started working on it like at seven nine maybe around there i forgot but i'm a really bad procrastinator and i waited till last minute to do it literally like last couple hours before it was due but i finished it it was like a 10 page paper then i had to do like the whole work side because it was a um argumentative research paper and i need to comb my brows because like yeah they're like looking a little floppy but yeah so um i'll probably fix them this is the best they're gonna get for right now yeah no this is literally the best we're gonna get today. but yeah so um god my nose is so itchy see like it might be allergies too but then fast forward today i wake up my whole body is like it feels like like my body after a wrestling tournament like that type of thing like you got hit by a bus or like a car and then like you literally like could barely even move and then my throat hurts and like it feels like like raspy and everything and i can't even say it's my tonsils because i don't have tonsils but um yeah and then my mom woke up like this too so we might be sick i don't know maybe i don't know well i'll probably take a covid test later but literally i've never had covid this whole time i don't want to jinx it knock on wood but like yeah so, um, I'm getting ready to go to the IEP meeting with my mother. Um, but yeah. And then I need to clean my room. So, it's gonna be like a... Watch me do more makeup slash clean with me and like what I do for today. Um, I do know my mom's gonna pick up Aaliyah from school. And straight from there, she's going to go take her to the Costurera. I think that's how you say it. I forgot. Well, it's like a, the person that like makes your clothes fit. Like say it fits you big, they, they can make it smaller or bigger or something. Yeah, you know, like I forgot what it's called in English. Dang it. But yeah, she's going to go over there because um, if, if you guys know, there's going to have a sweet 16. So yeah, we're leaving it like this Mm, i kind of want to bronze up a little bit more like literally i've been into bronzing like i'm i'm pale but i'm not that pale but like i'm pale too at the same time you know like what i mean and um yeah she's gonna go so they could um 
size her dress to her like waist and everything because obviously that thing's like big on her it's not that big because i kind of i literally customized it like i put in her weight how much she weighs how tall she is the length is good but it's just the waist like we need to make it smaller for her because she has like a itty bitty little waist um so yeah and then she wants to like customize it a little bit more so we're gonna add stuff to it but like that could be for the family channel my mom i'm sure she's gonna be recording it and everything so if you guys want to see that like go to the family channel and go look but yeah so she's gonna pick her up and then go straight to her house she did she actually she actually is the one who um did my dress she like customized it because my thing came out really really big we didn't really have the option to like customize it too much mine so like literally like the waist was that big and my waist back then was like this small so like i had to take off like four inches from each side to make the um the waist thingy fit because it was during season so i was like literally tiny like 101 and then my c16 was off season obviously i was never 101 walking around i was always like 105 104 around there but yeah so like literally off season i got i went up to 112 so yeah like it's like 10 plus no not even 10 plus like maybe eight pounds 10 at the most i went up um and it still fit me good it kind of fit me a little tight but it fit me good so yeah we're gonna do that with leah but leah actually is good at maintaining her weight she goes 106 actually and her walk around weight literally like off seasons 108 109 110 so she's like literally whenever during season literally the week before a tournament she just needs to like cut not even cut but like a pound or two so yeah and i always like make sure she's near weight because i don't want her like to go through what i used to go through like the cutting weight and everything because it's not fun and it's torturous like literally but yeah so um i kind of want to wear a long sleeve turtleneck but then yet again it is hot so then I'm like, maybe I shouldn't. But we'll see. So, yeah. um, It's 10.51. It's been 20-something-ish minutes. I need to pick out my outfit, do my hair, like, brush out my hair. I could record it for you guys, but spoiler alert. Like, I literally am probably going to look like a little, like, lion with my hair brushed out. But, yeah. So this is how my day is going. I'm going to do my bed. Maybe after we come back and i need to do laundry i haven't done laundry all week usually i do laundry every mondays and um i don't do it on the weekend because the weekend leah does it because that's the only time she kind of has because during the week we go to practice and everything and then she has school and all that so yeah but then um since we did go to like the association dual thingy or whatever I did like one load of laundry on Saturday, no, on Friday, and then I folded Saturday. But um, yeah, I only washed <laughs> my darks though, so I have all my lights there, and then it's literally like Wednesday, so I have like a whole, like my basket already filled up probably with the darks, and we haven't gone to practice either, so like, that's just like ashlyn basically because i really don't dress up too much like just to be home um i already finished school last week which i told you guys about my whole final and i got a 500 out of 500 like literally pretty good well actually good um but yeah so um i'm gonna do laundry i'm gonna clean the dogs little puppies and then the big dogs too um but yeah Oh yeah, so oh and then like the whole practice. So we are not going to practice and all that. Um I mean it's only two days, um, Monday and then yesterday, Tuesday. Uh, I think we might go today, uh, to take Alicia. We were gonna think of thinking about her doing this tournament this weekend, as in like her first tournament. But then I'm like, I don't know, because she's like not ready ready um she hasn't practiced in like years and then literally like this whole season ish um what's it called again freestyle season we've only taken her like twice to practice because that girl will literally come up with any type of excuse just to not go but yeah she's like in um those stages where like you don't want to go as a little kid but obviously she's she's gonna do wrestling she 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 likes it she just hasn't 
realize she likes it if you guys know what i mean but yeah so um we were thinking about making her do this like tournament like registering her up for it but then alia did get hurt um last weekend at the association duels like the ref gave her a whole yellow card saying like she was done she couldn't wrestle anymore um but it's not like oh you're done you're broken not that type she's had that before but like not like that though um it was mainly more like um like you can't wrestle don't even ask how i how you guys what like i'm using as a tripod but um oh snap okay so i ended up doing my hair in a little bun but i did like a little zigzag part so to spice it up and then i ended up going it's like a yellow like this and then some jeans and shoes but oh, cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. I'm actually gonna go. I had you guys on top of the on top of a thingy, but yeah. So I need to clean my room. You guys can see laundry there, but let me actually take my iPad with me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take this cup to put it in the sink. Actually, I'm literally like crafts, whatever. So I have my backpack with me. I always have pins in here. Um, but yeah, so this is how my what's in here my wallet got a mini version of the perfume then i'm gonna put my apple pencil and my ipad in here it fits so because i like to take notes on my ipad rather than paper and all that and it fits yeah, i'm probably gonna take some gum i'm actually gonna probably chew it right now right now and i'm waiting for my mom to get ready and probably too. I'm gonna put my backpack on, put my watch on to see. And I'll probably record one while I'm on my way, and then after the movie and everything, I mean, not the lights. Next day. Next day. No, Alia, look at this. This is so pretty. Look at this egg chair. A wiggle chair? Look at it. That's cute. This is so cute. I want it. Alia, look, ladybugs. Ladybug. Oh my gosh, dude. This is so cute. This this is our first time at Hobby Lobby. We're trying to find like fabric for Aaliyah's um, 316 dress. Oh, there's so many cute things. And like a lot of these things look like Tumblr ish. Like, oh my god, look at this rocking chair, dude. Like, I need a rocking chair too. It's so pretty. They have all these different type of molds. Should they even have a famous little heart one that everyone does? The numbers, sprinkles. They have the zigzag ones, chocolate ones. They're gonna leave me. Oh my gosh, they have cricket stuff here. Oh. How much? Oh, look, they have the crickets. I have this one, but just in a different color. They have little teens. Dude, it's actually really, really cute. Um, Dude, they have so many cute aesthetic -y things. And they have like a whole aisle full of the cricket stuff. They have so many cute. I've never came to Happy Lobby. But right now, me and Elisa are trying to find my mother. 
oh my god for a wool and they have knitting stuff too i knit guys if you guys don't know okay uh, well we're still looking around oh they have so many cute little things oh here they are yeah we need a I have a little look. I found socks for Beeb. Oh, so, so these are gonna fit her kind of big. So I got her that one, and then Pom Pom, and then these are for us. These are crew socks. The other ones, they're like size six to seven, so they're probably gonna fit Beeb to like her whole calf. But she likes socks like that, anyways. And then, oh look, they have these, Aaliyah. You could just get them and then put it around her. That's what she would. <gasps> oh, this. Yeah, but we're trying to find fabric for Leah's dress because she wants to customize it. That looks good. 